right, this message is for the Capricorns for the month of May. I got my uh, Dutch Bros coffee here today for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to pull, and, it, and it, their beautiful message says, I'm here to help. So Capricorns, what's going on in May? I'm going to get the coffee cup all closed, whereas the tea leaves. I got it split, and I see compliments from an admirer, a bouquet, maybe receiving some flowers from a fair man, even. No way. Okay, this is fun. Let's see where we go with this Capricorns. We got the fair man. Dealings with a relationship with a man of blonde hair, gray, or white. There is even the lighter hair. Or I'm noticing the eyes. Like, the eyes are this vibrant, like, blue. Mmm. Okay, Capricorns. And a teapot. It's a relationship. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex, okay? So, another man. Um, compliments from admirer. I also see a wishbone um, bone and do not be tempted to lower your standards. Oh, two different wishes. I see both. One, you might, one thing comes true, like you get your wish, but another thing doesn't. And let's just see. So that's how it goes, right? You go, you win some, you lose some. Hey, Capricorns. All right, that's fascinating, though. So that's where we're starting with this month of May for you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have a lovely, lovely May. It is, you know, always a... I don't know. I enjoy May. It's one of the best times, right? A fan, romance, celebration, and a party, right? So you got a fan. There's going to be a party, celebration, get-together in May. We're starting out with time for celebration. All right, personally, Capricorns. Thing. I got a lot going on. I'm Libra, but I have a lot in May. I have a couple birthdays. I actually have, you know, pass on loved ones and family. A lot of families that are Gemini's, Taurus. I have anniversary. I even have some sad stuff, you know, anniversaries of passing on of family members during that month. Anyways, there's a celebration party, get together. I mean, it's like, what is it? Memorial Day weekend at the end of the month. But this is a start the whole month. All right. I am going to do some bone. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but I'm thinking about the Taurus because this Taurus season during and Gemini's and they're both actually getting a happy birthday bonus readings. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys, but I'm, it, it has something to do with birthday celebrations, most likely. So you probably, uh, you know, and maybe they're the same sex, right? A deep friendship with someone of the same sex, okay? All right, tea leaves. Oh, the vulture. Ugh. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. All right, let's see. We're digging a little bit deeper here. So this is kind of scorpionic, right? But also Sagittarius was getting this a lot. Capricorns, there's there could be fear in regarding even this that there is someone against you, worry, and that could be kind of what's hidden a little bit in your subconscious, even regarding the celebration or a get together. All right, so let's see if we can get more information about that. Okay, whoa. That was so crazy. I wish you guys could have seen the way the card just flew. I say, I'm just grabbing it. All right. So grasshopper. Situation in the balance that requires careful handling, even regarding these fears, and that someone and anxi anxiety. Maybe I'll get you some stress relief and self-care cards. Mountain road on the road to success. I'm even seeing victory. Victory and success. Okay, Capricorns. So even dealing with... Um, there's Aries energy with this victory. There's also Leo energy, joy. But there's too much concern with sexual matters. The rabbit. This is even about fears. Oh, it was hidden behind. Like someone feels very victorious, but in the background of it, there is too much concern with sexual matters, Capricorns. <laughs> But you're on the road to success even with a Leo or a lion. Time to take action. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Okay, 
I'm just flowing them through. We got victory. I'm going to show them to you. I don't think you can. Do I have it down? Yeah. Victory in some endeavor. Maybe recognizing that getting a little too focused on sexual matters, right? Pregnancy, fear. Even regarding children. That's the Leo stuff. Okay. Capricorns. That's interesting. Scorpios, a lot, a lot of different signs. I mean, it is all about keeping life in balance, but that's all it's mentioning, you know, is that sometimes there's too much concern with that and it's a distraction to success and taking action. All right, Capricorn. So that's, these are the signs that I'm getting with this one. I've definitely got a little bit of Scorpionic. I've got Leo, I've got Aries, Sagittarius possibly, and Leo, like I say. Balance, moderation, taking action even. Time to act. Maybe that's the fan. Maybe it's mm, having that strength. Here's the other one, bird flying, news is on the way. Someone's taking action to share the news. All right, I'm gonna get the coffee oracles in a minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eights. That could have to do with the scorpionic stuff, the eighth house stuff about birth, about sex, about death, about taxes. Okay, Capricorns. About taboo things, even. Dragon. About a Sagittarius. About uh, also this bird that's flying. News is on the way. Beware of your own self delusion. Dragon. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea. Mm. This fan, a cup, you should accept valid criticism, beware of self-delusion, being open and able to accept valid criticism, beware of self-delusion. I think that that is a valid criticism. Mm. The cup, the drag cup, dragon. Oh, wow. Sagittarius. A lot of Sagittarius stuff. I feel like uh, you're going to... This communication, the news on the way, is from either a Sagittarius energy, a person. They know how to persevere. Um, I mean, the camel... And every time I pull this now, it reminds me of the camel cigarettes. But Because it looks like the same thing. But persevere and you will overcome problems. So coming out of any type of self-delusion, knowing that you can persevere. Ninth house is also like th that long distance trip, higher learning, um, being open for travel, adventure even. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Even um, with friends, social networking, partnership. And the Sagittarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius are pretty good friends even. Mm. Okay. Whoa. There's a lot of tea leaves now. I'm going to pull it through one more time. Then we're going to move into the coffee uh, oracle. I'm going to take a drink real quick. I'm here to help. <laughs> it's starting to get cold. My coffee's getting cold, guys. All right. Bag. Something important, such as new job or raise. What's in the bag? Okay. You know, the weirdest thing is, I'm going to take that as a weird sign to just pull out of the bag. See, I have a stack in my hand. I'm, there's a little bit in the bag, so I'm just going to see. But I feel like Capricorns... Whoa. Okay, okay. This is even about road to success, right? Higher learning. And, and perseverance through something. And getting a new job or a raise. Like a level up. Okay. Um, another sign just barely got this. I think it was Sagittarius. So Capricorns and Sagittarius. Interesting. So what's in the bag? I'm just going to see. Finger. There's a finger. All right. This is a warning. A warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. In the month of May. And maybe it'll be closer to the end of May that you might notice something. The, this one kind of pointing at the fairies. 
Hmm, I see a vine. I might get the enchanted or magical times because kind of point of the fairies. Uh, I am going to flip more. It, once again, about helping you, right? I'm here to help you. I, the vine is seek out information that will help you. You need to defend yourself. You're going to need to defend yourself. That's what it says. Regarding a union, you have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength. Join forces with friends and flourish. All right? Hmm. Uh, Sagittarius and Libras um, usually pull this as well. But also knowing that you have this guidance and protection. There's a warning that you may need to defend yourself regarding things. But you have that strength. And the Leo too, right? So regarding whatever this union is. Um, and change, a union and change. <laughs> You're transforming. Let go of the past, embrace the light and joy of this new day. Even coming out of this anxiety, worry, depression, someone is against you, the vulture. So Capricorns and Sagittarius kind of had that a lot. And um, there was uh, one of the videos I might not have brought up is I saw six different vultures. And that could mean that there's like six different, it's like they're waiting you know, for something to end. Like even this grasshopper and the balance that requires careful handling because if one false move and that vulture's going to come in and take it or something. So even dealing with transforming and scorpionic stuff and change, letting stuff in the past go. A lot about scorpionic and Sagittarius. Okay, Capricorns? All right. All right, I'm just going to get a couple of these for the month of May for the Capricorn. A pilgrimage. Yeah, going out on a pilgrimage, a journey. Um, I am going to go back to the coffee cup oracles after this. So you're only getting three of these and confidence. All right, pilgrimage. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose the path. You know what's really interesting? So I heard someone say something like, it's not a pilgrimage if you're doing it on your own. And you see how there's all this unseen, unseen friends and even the animals. And these, this represents like purity, um, nobility, wisdom, even the, the wise, uh, even in our own hair. Like, so it talked about the fair man. Maybe it's white hair, you know, that the whites... And going on this trip and this journey, a pilgrimage. And having the confidence to do it. Be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. All right, so maybe some of you, it is Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo. You have fire with this, this earth, right? Um, regardless, the eagle confidence and maybe it's Aries for some Capricorn Aries Capricorn Leo Capricorn Sag that's what I see okay oh there's one more and happiness <sighs> victory in some endeavor the hummingbird immense delight can be found in the smallest of things cultivate fluttering moments of joy even dealing with um, an Aries for some of you, the airs. Um, usually this hummingbird is Aquarius, um, Gemini, Libra for me. But being able to switch directions and find the nectar, right? Finding all the small things to be happy about. Even the rabbit. <laughs> a bit, just a bit. Just a bit of those sexual matters. <laughs> Okay, we're on the road to success. Um, energy and sacred space. Now we've got the dragonfly. Life force is flowing. Open yourself up to receive the power from within. You are on the road to success. So you have this fire in you. Maybe for some of you, Sagittarius is your moon or Leo or Aries even. But 
taking that action, okay? Um, then you've got this fan, sacred space, transformation. So some of you, it could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpionic, Pisces even, a dreamer. But you need to take time to dream as well, okay? For this party. Take time for the dreamer and you find your power in stillness. In your sacred space is the peace that you seek. Okay, Capricorns? All right, before I continue on with that, I am going to pull the rest of these where at the end where we, there was some warning, right? Seeking out the information that will help you. I'm going to put that right here on the news. Ah, maybe there's something on the news. Oh, teardrops. Beware of self-delusion. The sorrow, a great personal sorrow even. Dragon. Hmm. Uh, you should accept valid criticism. It might hurt. Maybe someone said something rude. You know? And they're offering that up as to be vulnerable and honest that the way that someone was... You shouldn't treat people that way. It's hurtful. Or vice versa, you know? We got forest. See, even accepting valid criticism muddled and unclear thinking. See? And that could have been what caused some of it. Even the sorrow and stuff. Concrete confusion. The camel overcoming because of rat. Someone working against you behind your back. So we kind of started with that. There's like a knowing of it. And it's it sucks. It really does. That there's a rat in the midst. But you're going to overcome it. There is a new job, new career. That's part of the warnings. Right at the celebration, you're gonna find out this. So, we start with that in the middle, right? Fun and enjoyment that's when you're gonna get this new job or a raise. Maybe it is a work get together, a work thing for this higher education learning. Now, we got f the finger right warning you of a man dealing with a relationship with a man, a f dagger, fear, worries, and a tense situation. Regarding pride. He looks kind of ear kind of pissy. Huh. Peacock, beware of great pride. Mm. So just some different signs that just barely got this, okay? Capricorns was Scorpio and Sagittarius. Also Libra gets this a lot and Cancers. And Aquarius possibly. But maybe that keeps you, but, but this is about beware of your own pride even. And the two-faced cat. Okay. These are the things we all deal with people like this sometimes seeking out information that will help you. Look, this cat is like looking over here, but then talking behind the back, even at the party or telling a Leo something. Okay, Capricorn, this person is talking to someone at the party. Maybe it's a Leo. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Wow, it's a two-faced friend. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Someone talking, telling other people your business. Literally, news, news, news. There's something about news. Vine and seeking out the news, the stork, a message, new business opportunity potential. But there's great personal sorrow regarding this. Self delusion, even Sagittarius, K Capricorns. We've got the sunrise though, after with this news of a birth. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Like the sun is rising now. There was rest. You see, there was a rest, a pause, a period through some sorrows. And then as the sun rise, right, things become clear. Sometimes the, the emotion, it's cleansing to just release it, getting the rest you need, and then waking up early with a fresh start, fresh new ideas. All right, we got, see, and the eye again, the rat and the camel and the eye. 
psychic ability, trust your intuition, Capricorns. That's crazy. You guys get the eye. <laughs> Again, Capricorns. Maybe the rat smokes camels. <laughs> it could be a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but trust your intuition about the rat. It's like being able to see the truth. Persevere through it and you will succeed. No way to the tulips, the passion, the celebration, the party, the fun. I even saw like the tulips on the Dutch Bros Cups and I totally thought about that actually with Sagittarius. So a lot of Sagittarius energy right here, Capricorns. And this get together, this party, right? And the final one was about having to defend yourself. This man, okay? There's this great passion at this party. Tulip. So whether it is you need to defend yourself from this man or you are this man, you need to defend yourself. Dealing with a relationship with a man, there's a tense situation and possibly great pride. Okay. Um, I'm going to look underneath here. A dreamer. For some, it's a Pisces, Sagittarius, or you have that in your chart as well. Let's get clarification. Hmm. Some about your dreams. The Scorpionic and Sagittarius. Okay, and I see you will be shown the way. The candle. You will be shown the way. You will. It all comes back around, right? All right, I'm going to get the coffee cup of oracles now. Let's see. The lion. So uh, Capricorn is dealing a lot with a Leo, or you have Leo in your chart, or you need to pull into that Leo and have that strength and success. you got Leo twice, Capricorns, of taking action and having strength and being successful. I see it a lot with this energy the confidence look the lion almost said the lion the witch in the wardrobe is that aslan aslan mm, it's kind of interesting because some of the different cards even in this particular deck like the witch card reminds me because the witch in that the lion the witch in the wardrobe the wardrobe wardrobe's the portal right <laughs> that's a great show hmm c.s lewis Pregnancy and wealth. Law well, about the pregnancy. Strength and success regarding pregnancy and wealth. And we got the peacock again. So watch for great pride. Okay. Alright, I'm going to flow these through. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, five Capricorns. Oh. Maybe there's other Capricorns you're dealing with too. But I mainly see... You know, the Leo and the Sagittarius, for the most part. Mm, okay, let's see. An old woman, sadness, depression, female. A female is the two-faced friend. That's what I was kind of focused on when I was looking. There is depression and sadness, and it could be a Leo that you're dealing with. <laughs> a fan, though. At a party. Mm. She kind of... I'm kind of seeing this one kind of leave the party early even. Alone. In sadness after what she hears. Yeah, the message on the way. A female. Oh, maybe when hearing news about a birth of something. Or some someone having a baby. Or a new business opportunity. An envelope. Yeah, the message. Unfolding surprise about choices and indecision and a bride and engagement. Unfolding surprises. Um, you're going to hear about a birth or a new business opportunity. Um, it might. I don't know why this brings so much sorrow, personal sorrow and self-delusion. Uh, maybe it has to do with a Sagittarius. Capricorns, this triangle, the choices and indecision. The last, that was Sagittarius called choices and decision. Rest. It's time to rest. Like the eye even looks. It's behind the eyes, the arcs. And then this is a wife. Sagittarius. 
bride and engagement, passion, Capricorn. Why is the rat? Huh. Hmm. Also, I mean, there is a new job. So double time, it could be a new job or a raise. Okay. You get two more. Peacock again. So peacock come, keeps coming through in peace and serenity and pregnancy. So regardless, it's about, this is really like the empress, female, wife, mother, um, pregnant with... Uh, some, you know, a child or a business opportunity. Lots of creativity right there. And Aquarius sparkling, shining. But peace and ser serenity. Just wanting peace. All right. Sh defending yourself. Defending your peace. Speaking your peace, defending yourself. Even this man. Peace and serenity. Be wearing of great pride in a tense situation, right? Whoa, you got stability, security, and loyalty. Feeling anchored and strong. Loyalty and determination. The anchor and the dog. Three more. The anchor is shining. Mm. All right, well... It is what it is. I also see the fish in abundance and luck. Two, three, four, five. So change for the better. Loyalty and determination. Mm. Okay, what do we got on time? 26.51. Well, where else am I going to go with this? Goodness, goodness. Let's get some, some spirit animals for the Capricorns. Spirit animals for the Capricorns for the month of May. All right, going out on a pilgrimage. Uh, there's a party, time to get together. There's going to be a little bit of, you know, there's excitement, exciting new surprises and things unfolding, but there's also, you know, you know, when sometimes good news to one person isn't good news to another person. I don't know. I don't know why, but because there's a triangle. Ugh. The peacock, guys, the peacock is so important for Capricorns. That was like the third time I've seen the peacock. You're born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy, Capricorns. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Yeah, in this old woman, right? Practice humility. There, there's this star quality, you know what I mean? You shine. Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Scorpios. There are usually the signs that pull the peacock and Sagittarius. Hmm. All right. Then this happiness, right? Finding happiness in little things. Whoa. Prosperity. You got old soul. Jaguar. And prosperity jumped. There's a lot. Black Jaguar, old soul. Walk through life with confidence and grace. Your power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Focus even making, you know, delight can be found in the smallest things. Cultivating fluttering moments of joy. Victory even. Overcoming certain things even. Oh, too much sexual concerns on, on the road to success here. Because, you know, you can focus on what you really want. And then you got the prosperity. Let go of the past. Embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. Even having this energy. The sacred space of dreams. Wow, there's a lot. Tiger. Fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Ironically, this actually reminds me of Aquarius and Sagittarius, the lions. Also, there's high priestess with this, but you see the, the white tiger too, right? 
holy diver, <laughs> ride the tiger, and survivor, eye the tiger. All right, old woman, fire, fire woman, sacred space. All right, grizzly bear, mother bear, mama bear, empower. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I will never give up. I will succeed. Unstoppable. All right. We have four more. Four more. You got giraffe and the visionary. Okay. Right above earthly matters. Arise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Wow, whatever's unfolding, a surprise even, rising above. Wow, this one actually reminds me of my daughter, um, who is a Capricorn. She loves drafts, and I find that fascinating because I, I actually see it more as like a, a Pisces even, rising above, but and Pisces Virgo, unfolding, a visionary, and Virgo popping in here again too with this indecision and love. Three little birds. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. You know, love and the Venus is also the Taurus and the Libra. But the deer, also mothering. Children, too. Leo. Huh. Love. Gentle with yourself. Okay. And the messenger and the eagle. No way. The next two birds, eagle and messenger, mastery. You're on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Peace and serenity. This mastery rising above trouble, troubles, even regarding pregnancy, wealth, envy, jealousy, humility, right? And the messenger, okay? Even this... So spirit's sending you messages, right? About a man, about maybe you need to defend yourself, whether you are a man that needs to defend themselves or you need to defend yourself from a man and also about pride. Uh, the peacock too. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities, eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Capricorn. All this air sign quality, even in, uh, you know, maybe you have Aquarius also in your, in your chart or something, but a lot of air with, um, and fire. There's not as much water for sure with this particular, as I look, we got earth, air, and fire, earth, wind, and fire. September, remember, remember, September. <laughs> And you are the shining star. Okay, and supernatural dragon. You're the ancient wise sage, dog, loyalty. You can shape if that will. Master your destiny. Rise with dignity. All right, and then we got a lot of Sagittarius and supernatural and Taurus. Stay anchored and grounded even though. Shape shift. Wise sage. You got old soul and wise sage and the psychic stuff. Capricorns, you guys are just bosses right <laughs> all right 33 45 i'm gonna end it with um some action cards okay because it's not the time to take action so we're gonna get some boss girl action cards whatever boss men boss women boss humans human there's another great song by um i think it's rag and bone i'm only human after all I'm only human. Uh, I don't know why I'm actually seeing that. All right, let's finish up the month of May with some action cards for the Capricorns. First and foremost, don't stress. Do your best and forget the rest. Think of something you don't like about yourself. Now imagine your best friend telling you the same thing about her or him. How would you answer them? Now say that to yourself. Mm. don't stress do your best and forget the rest all right even at the beginning of the month all right uh one day or day one you decide 
Remember the time you wished you had started something earlier in life? Maybe it's investing, learning a new skill, or exercising. Motivate yourself today. Go start what you've been putting off. Even this pilgrimage, um, this journey, having the confidence. Day one or one day. All right. Okay. Victory. I'm all victorious even. Ambition is a way of life. Old soul. Honor your ambition. Put your focus on your biggest goals for today and make some serious progress. Look, it even says focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Confidence. You even got confidence. You walk through life with confidence and grace. You have a power from beyond the world. Ambition is a way of life. All right. Those are great. I like them. And then two questions. Make waves. Answer two questions. What am I best at? And how can I change the world doing that? Hmm, that's some deep thinking, huh? A bold Tuesday. <laughs> I always like saying that because that's what this is called, boldtuesday.com. All right, the next two. Now we've got six. We're doing, doing these in pairs. Frog and prosperity. You can and you will let go of the past, embrace change. Hop into a new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. All right? Facing a daunting task. Set out to do it for just five minutes. The beginning is usually the hardest, but anyone can do a task like that for five minutes. And once you've begun, keep going. Yeah. Even take that energy on the road to success. Yeah. A hundred percent. Keep it 100% of your promises today, right? Deadline coming up. Finish 24 hours before. It's due. Putting off what you want to begin. Start today. You promise to help someone? Do it. Under promise and over deliver. That's what I, you know, learn your limits and know when to say no. So that you don't, because it becomes that you say you're going to do something, you don't fall through. We all have these things and sometimes it's easier to say okay yeah sure that yeah yeah sure but then you don't or you make up excuses instead of just saying you know I don't want to no I can't or uh, not that saying I can't just saying I I have something else I need to focus on it's what you need to focus on if it's other people's bullshit and you have your own shit to focus on then don't take on other people's projects because you get overwhelmed. And then also, then you, you commit, under commit, meaning like don't take on so many commitments, but then fall through ahead of the game, you know? It's a good, I'm seeing the two. Twos, a lot of twos. Okay, Capricorns, you're getting these twos all about partnership. Even how you make your money, Taurus energy here, maybe second house. You dream, you believe, and you receive. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is power. Mighty forces come to my aid. You dream, you believe, you receive. Write a gratitude list. What are five things you are grateful for today? And if it includes people, let them know how you feel. All right, Capricorn? Sacred space, even. I'm just looking behind it to see um, the next one. Sometimes you have to give yourself little pep talks like, hello, you are a badass woman. Don't be sad. You got this. And I love you. Get in front of a mirror and give yourself a proper two-minute pep talk. Some prompts. What do you love most about yourself? What are you most proud of? And what are you best at? Pep talk in the mirror. And then this power. All right. Oh, fuck what they think, right? I'm indestructible. I honor my intuition. Go where it leads. Make a mental list of all the people whose opinions you really care about. And now mindfully let go of any fucks you give about what anyone else thinks. Oh, yeah, Capricorns. All right. Look, it even says, don't be sad. And there's the woman there, the sad. All right, and... For any of you fellas out there, you know, you're a badass man. Don't be sad. <laughs> Power. If you're not madly in love with your life, this is your wake-up call for a change. 
Choose the number one thing you want to change about your life right now. Grab a journal and write about the ideal outcome. So if there's things that you're not, that, that's the thing. If you are, if you love life and everything is good, there isn't tweaks to be made, then keep it. You don't need to change if it's, if it's in the good flow, if things are good. But if they're not, they need to be tweaked, right? Things that you want to change. And then see the outcome. The final two. The final two. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I like this. I kind of, I've thought about doing a flow where I kind of flow each house of the zodiac signs from, from Aries all the way through to the Pisces. The twelves. All right, so good things come to those who wait or work for it, right? So you got to do the work. Organize your to-do-do, to-do-do, to <laughs> your to-do list. Sort out priorities for the day. Before going to sleep, set up a new list for tomorrow. Yeah, getting prepared for the next day, especially when you have a lot going on. And even dealing with, so I love this even with your six house stuff, the Virgo Pisces type um, stuff Capricorns here with uh, resting and being gentle with yourself as well recharge yourself more often than you charge your phone take a brain break every hour or finish the workday one hour earlier than usual recharge before you feel tired yeah I like that I like that all right, Capricorns, this one got long. I hope you have a wonderful May. Thank you. Bye-bye.